Hello everyone. Sheila back. I am doing the base on another bag. I have sold the the other one that I did. So I am doing another one, but I'm doing this one. This is chunky. That I'm using. I'm going to use two strands of chunky. I'm going to use this one here and this one. But it's easier when you're doing the base just to take one lot through the um the holes to start it off with. So I'm doing the the white is stiffer than what the green one is. But you have to use a very thin hook. Because it has to go through those holes without any trouble to pick up the um the stitches. So I'm going to do the base on this one, but I'm also going to do another one. With the same as the other one I did with these ones. Now this was well this was just a little bit of iron I had left over from somewhere, but this was some of um Majestics. It said chunky on the label. This is also majestic. Now I didn't get this from um the white or this tan coloured. I didn't get this from um the knitting wool sales. I got this from a, another place that um that I know nearer where I live that I could get this wool from, but they only get it in now and again, so the knitting wool sales was much better. But this was what I got from the, um, it's, I forget what it calls, Bridgefield Bargains in uh, Newburn. That was where I got these ones from. Now the label said chunky on this, which I think this is chunky. And it also said chunky on this, but this one only went half as far as this one. And it's weighed 100 grams, exactly the same. So I think this one was wrongly labelled. I think it is super chunky because it made it very thick and very sort of solid, the um, the bag. The bag that I done that, that one in, it's, it's a lot thicker and sturdy. It stands up, even without the base on the, um, the bottom, it stands up for itself because it's that thick. So I'm going to do another one as well. I'm going to do another base. I'm doing the bases first to get them, because they are a bit awkward. I'm going to do the bases first. This and then work on one and then I'll work on the, um, the other one. Because I have been asked about these as well, so I think I'm not going to have any trouble selling them. So I'm just doing the base on this one first. And like you're saying, I'm using a... Um, this is a very old crochet hook. It says size 10, which is 3.25. Size 10 is... a. Um, the UK old sizes where you had for needles and hooks, which is equivalent to 325. So I'm using a thin one to go through the holes, which is what you have to do. And just crochet through the holes, just bring the wool through the hole and up over the hook. You have to be careful that you don't split it when you bring it through. But it is rather awkward, rather awkward to hold. Actually, when you do the first rows of this, it is rather awkward to crochet because you can't hold the whole thing right, you know, like my hands don't go all the way around. You can't get your hand around the whole thing like you can when you're just crocheting straight from a chain. So it is a bit awkward, these. But I got these off Timu. I am not sure how much it costs me, actually. I can't remember. I'd have to look on the old bill things. Um... But this is a 10 inch one and I think there was longer ones. I'm sure somewhere about 15 or 16 inches long. I might get one or two longer ones to make bigger bags because this one makes a, um, it comes out measuring by the time I start crocheting, it comes out about, about this wide, about 12 inches wide. And I crocheted up to about eight inches. That's the size. And, the handy for um for kids for keeping their bits and pieces in or to do a little bit shopping going with their mom to do a little bit shopping or one lady's bought the other one off me as a project bag 
So they're handy for quite a few things. And it is a way to use up some odd balls that I have of chunky that I didn't know what I was going to do with. It wasn't really enough to do much with. And this one here is a green one. This was one I got off um, Emma, I think it was. Emma sent it me quite some time ago. There was a few, there's a f about four, there's three full large balls and this is a smaller ball that was in. And I thought, oh, it'll come in handy. I'll do these bags. I'll use that one, these bags. And I'm going to have a look to see if they have any round ones. I'm sure I saw round ones when I was looking for them. And then I'll do some um, some more yarn ball holders with these on the, um, the bottom, but a round one, which would be better for a yarn ball holder, I think. Because I like all my, I like my balls when I'm knitting and crochet in a cake like that, so a round one would be much better. I have this one I made, which annoys me because it's soft and floppy. And it was just made up with all little bits. I think I crocheted three strands. It was just odd mints, little odd bits and pieces of wool I had left over. But it's pretty soft wool and it's floppy and it, it annoys me. Because when I put it down on the side, it flops down to one side. But it is handy for holding, if I can put just a cake in like that. So I might get some round ones and make them with make them stiffer so they stand up for that. So I'll make a new one for myself as well. But I'm sure I saw round ones and longer ones of these the last time I was on Timo. So I'm going to have another look in. Say, I'm not sure how much this one costs. I can't really say. I can't remember. Might have been about one ninety nine for two or something like that. I'm not certain. I'll have to have another look. But I do find with Timu, if you see something that you want, like I did with the, um, I have a stand that my laptop stands on. And it's quite a handy stand because I can keep a lot of things like... I have things like a basket. This is underneath the stand and I keep little things like, like this and that underneath it. It uses up. The computer isn't taking up the space on my table. No, I got that stand from Timu. When I first looked at it, when I was first looking for it, I found a one and it was priced about £17. But I kept looking and the same one, I found another one for about £15. And I kept looking and looking. I actually found one. The same one came down to £10 and it was £9.99 and that was the one I actually bought. So you have to keep looking for the same thing on Emu because you do find some... The same things come down in price if you keep looking for them. And that's what I'm going to do with these to see what I can find with these. When you're crocheting with this, if anybody is doing these, make sure that you have those, their little like feet thing. I don't know if you can see them there. They're like little feet thing, little metal things. Make sure they are on the side facing you when you're crocheting into the thing. Otherwise, the very first time I did one of these, I did it the wrong way around and I had those feet on the inside instead of on the outside. <laughs> so that's what you want, those little feet to be on the outside when you're crocheting it. I had to pull it out, which I was really annoyed about. Because they mean when they stand, when you can stand them on a, a surface, they stand on those little feet, those little metal feet things, they don't stand on the, the actual part where you're crocheting. And I've just went through that wool, split that bit wool there on there oh, I've only got two more holes to go I'm sure there was a knot in this wool somewhere oh, I can see it there when I was winding I'm going to have to make sure it's hidden on the inside and then I'm going to join that to the if I can get the hook through the <laughs> that's it There, so I've went all the way around there, all the way around with the um the one strand, and I'm going to add when I do the rest, 
I'm going to add the green and do two lots together. But I'm going to change hooks as well because I want a big hook. This was my eight millimetre. This I'll check. I'll start with the eight millimetre first and see. Put that inside there to make sure it's thick enough for what I'm doing. I'll have to start that off there. See if I can get through the first stitch here. No, I can't get through that first. I'm going to have to use a smaller hook until I get through the the first. I forgot when I started the other one here. That's it. I have to start off with a, um, a smaller hook to get to get through the the stitches all the way around here. I have to put that through. it. have to make sure I do that first row very slack because it's a, a lot smaller hook than what I'm going to be using for the rest. So it's going to be a nice mix of green and white. Well, there's actually blue in this as well. There's a one or two colours mixed in with it goes into a blue where you can see the green and blue on it. I think I'm not sure what this, I'm sure that this is, um, I don't know, it's King Cole thing or other. I'll have to look on the labels upstairs. I can't remember whether it's a King Cole or a, a James C. Brett. This will probably be a softer one than the, um, the beige and the the cream one. I'm trying to do the stitch as big as possible to get it through here. It has to be the equivalent to uh, um, what I do in the size A hook. Just the first row, that's all that's, that's better. Once I got round the corner, the round ones seem to go tighter, but get slacker as you go up the side. Once you get past these first couple of rows, it's plain sailing from there. So I'm going to put that down and show you what else. There, you have to just twist that on the the side there and you can see how the the colours are looking there. I'll put that down for a minute. Yes, and I had had this little bag here. I've have had one or two emails and um, Facebook Messenger, it was um, a lady called Liz, so she was the first one that actually offered to buy it. Others have asked about how much I was charging for it, but um, Lisa was the one that actually um, asked to buy it, so she was the one that got it. So anyone, if you're thinking of buying anything like this off me and you send a message, say that you want to buy it as well, not just asking how much it is and then not get back for a while later. Because the first person that asks to buy anything of me, there's a person that gets it. And I did a little bit more of my armholes. I've got a little bit more of that done last night. I'm nearly up to the neck where I do the neck shaping on and that will be finished. 
And I've been watching uh, Michelle on um, her channel, All You Knit Is Love. And she's a bit like me. She's been knitting a cardigan for such a long time and she's nearly up to the back, nearly finished the back on it. But I'm going to beat her because this is the front of my sweater. <laughs> so take a look at Michelle's. I know a lot of you will know Michelle because you'll have seen her comments, but um, take a look at her channel as well and see how far she's got with her cardigan. And hers, I'll put a link to her channel in the description box, but um, she's um, All You Knit Is Love. That's on her, that's what her channel is called. I'm going to put that, that one down. And I got a little bit more of this one done last night. Well, yesterday afternoon it was. And it is knitting up lot larger than it would have been if it was double knitting but I changed to five millimeter I started off with the I did the rib part on the 325 millimeter and it is quite it's made it quite stiff but because I've done that on the um that rib, I'm going to have to do the rest of the cardigan rib on that but this part here has been done on a change of five millimeter needles I did try one row with four millimeter needles and it didn't seem slack enough so I went to 420 450 millimeter did another row with 450 and I thought, oh, I'll try five. So five, that's what I've ended up with. I pulled those rows out. I went back on those rows I did and did them on the four on the five millimeter instead of the um the smaller ones. So it is definitely Aaron, that's the way it's knitting. It's Aaron or it could be Worsted, what the US have, which is practically Aaron, which is what um what a lot of the the cell in the US is called Worsted which is, I think, is in between double knitting and Aran, but um, a lot have said that it's the, the thing classed as Aran, actually. So so if you've got any of this, that's what you've got to knit it as, Aran, not double knitting like it says on the label. So I've got that much of that one done, so that will not take too long to do any more of that one. And I'm going to my granddaughter's this afternoon, so... I haven't made my mind up what I'm going to take with me. I did manage to keep the dogs down last week, but, you know, it's a week since I've seen me, so they'll probably be all over me when I go again this week. <laughs> That's what dogs are like. You have to train them to do what you want them to do, like I did with mine when I had them. But my last dog's been gone a while now and I won't get another one now at my age. I don't know. I wouldn't want to get a young dog, a puppy, and end up something happening to me and that poor thing left by itself where nobody might want it. So at my age, I'm almost 78, so I am not going to get another dog now. I would have liked to have another dog, but... Not now at my age. But anyway, that's my little bit for now. I'll see you later, so thumbs up and subscribe. Bye for now.